Hello, my people. Mm -hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you're hearing my voice from. This is Mama, eh? Hey, hey, the only Mama Egwe the greeting this from my locality. So today, the day this video was filmed was the Christmas day, eh? The Christmas morning, and uh, we were preparing mm -hmm. to cook that you know, salam the food that everyone. Hey. Okay, in the family, yes, we we'll yeah, eat for the Christmas uh, day. So I decided to tell my brother, you know, to look for firewood. Of course, we have firewood in the yard, but the firewood has to be cut, you know, small, small. So, you know, so that the firewood, you know, we catch fire easily, you know, because you can't put that big log. You know, in the, I mean, you can't use it to cook like that. So in Africa, if you are not an Africa watching this video, I want to tell you that in Africa, before you start to cook in the village, you have to gather firewood or cut them in pieces, okay, to be easy to be used. And then you have to look for whatsoever you are going to use hey, for the cooking. And you have also have to you know, look for water and get them ready for the cooking. So watch as we do the cocoa in the village. In fact, uh, it was very, very interesting being in the village. I think village life is the best. You know, you stay there in the community with your people. You know, you just show love to your people. You know, look at that man with his pami. And the kind of pami we have there eh, is original pami, you know, from a uh, bamboo tree. So that one was just gotten from bamboo tree that very morning. And the uh, <laughs> people were just coming, you know, my husband, uh, brother, and uh, his friend, okay, one of their senior brothers. I mean, the black one is the senior brother to my husband. And the other person is my husband's uh, brother. So we were all there after cooking. We said, no, we are not going to eat rice so today. So we, uh, we decided to, you know, uh, make some African food. <laughs> ECA, we call it ECA, with the head of uh, goats. We just mixed the whole thing with uh, Oi bean seed, that is, we call it Oba in our dialect, that's Igbo language. So it was yummy. Mm, it was really yummy. And uh, I and my husband, brother, and the their senior brother, we were all enjoying it. And here is my father-in-law's uh, house. This building where we are staying, where we are, I went to spend the Christmas I was built in the 70s by my father-in-law. And so, although my father-in-law is late, but we normally like to stay in that house, even though it's an old house. So we, the family members, we normally go there, you know, from time to time, because there are still people living there. So we go there to stay, you know, to make sure that that place is lively. You cannot uh, uh, renovate the house. Whenever we want to renovate it, it's just to pull it down and then reconstruct another one. So my people, feel free to watch the video. Play it. Enjoy the village life, the real village life. This one no be, no be pranko. This one no be akorako. This is real village life. Okay, my people. This is what... People in the village enjoy. And that is why when you see them, you may think they don't have money, but they have food. They have organic food always to eat. And that is why whenever you see them, they may be slim, but they are always healthy. Unless any one of them that has a, a health issue. But if not so, in fact, village people are really enjoying. So, do you like to spend your holidays in the village? If so, please tell me in the comment section because Mama Egweji, I really enjoyed myself in the village. If not, why not? 
eh, at least the permit that I was taking in the village, eh, every blessed day, I drink pame, fresh one from the bamboo tree, you know. So enjoy the video, my people. I can say that we that uh, don't live in the village, we are really missing. I'm telling you, we miss so many things, so many organic food. And when they, by the time they bring it to the town, it's no more as fresh as it's supposed to be. So, in fact, I spent almost three weeks in the village. I just decided to go there and chill down <laughs> in my father-in-law's old building, okay, with some of my family members. Of course, you know, uh, th this is an extended family anyway. Many of us live outside here. But I decided to be here with my pair, Paul. Yes, so we enjoy staying here together, remembering our, my father-in-law and his uh, wife in those days to their blessed memory. That's the house they built in the 70s. So, and here, oh my God, you see what we are doing? You see, this is fish and this one is fingerless. Yeah. That's what it's called. And the, the, the fish by your right hand side, that one has matured anyway. It's more than eight months, almost a year. I don't know, maybe because the food they are eating, uh, I don't know, it's not the right one. They are supposed to be bigger than uh, what you're seeing. But it's good to rear fish. You know, fish farming is interesting. It's an interesting one. Very, very interesting. <laughs> so here we are removing the, the water, trying to remove the dirty water and then put a fresh one as you can see. The dirty water has been removed and we are now filling the pond with the fresh one. Huh? Fresh water. So that's it. Yeah, we are filling it with fresh water. Look at how interesting. See how interesting it is, my people. Very, very interesting to watch them as they swim. <laughs> I got wings in me. We got me there, baby. Brushing it. 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 Brushing
Thank you for watching my people. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and comment my